Hi everybody, well you've probably been wondering, Rob, 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 you've had your Steam Deck for at least two days now. How come you haven't done any videos about DayZ? Well, here we go. This is going to be my first video about getting DayZ running on your Steam Deck. This happens to be my new Steam Deck, my Steam Deck um, 512GB uh, OLED. And we're going to look, about, look at how you can get it running easily. Um, the things to think about, the, the drawbacks that we have at the moment, um, what we can look uh, forward to as time goes on, as Valve put uh, more effort into making this compatible. So the, the headline feature, unfortunately at the moment, and this this had, this had um, is the same for Armour as well as Daisy, is that there's no um, simple workshop mod support for Daisy at the moment. So... The Daisy that you're running on your Steam Deck is Daisy PC, and one of the main reasons why you people buy a PC if they're a fan of Daisy is for the workshop because then you can have all the different mods with the different guns and the different maps and stuff like that. At the moment, you can do that sort of stuff, but it's quite difficult to do out of the box. You can't do it, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Daisy running the simple way. So basically, what you end up playing is vanilla Daisy. So it's Daisy without mods, but that still gives you plenty of options because you've got all the um, public servers. There's plenty of community servers like Spaggies that don't run um, with mods, and of course, there's Daisy Experimental as well, um, which doesn't have mods on. Now you'll notice, of course, I'm not touching my Steam Deck because I've uh, linked up a keyboard and mouse, a wireless keyboard and mouse, and the other problem I see with Daisy is the fact that out of the box in the PC version. <coughs> excuse me, there's no native controller support, um, which is a bit of a pain. Hopefully, maybe one day they'll put it in so that you can just connect your Xbox controller um, or obviously use the controls on the Steam Deck. Now, we're going to address that as well. In fact, first off, let's just have a look at this little setup I've got here so you can see with the keyboard. So basically, what we've got here is my Steam Deck is in a dock that you can see here like this. Now these docks, they're not very expensive, this isn't an official one, and basically what happens is your dock plugs in via a, um, a USB-C, um, and then on the back of the dock, you, you, you might probably not be able, to be able to see it, but there's a HDMI out, there's a, a USB-C in for power, and then you've got um, um, yeah, the other USB, is it USB-A is it? You know, the normal USBs, um, and then in that particular one, there's a dongle, that's the wireless dongle for my wireless, simple, really cheap wireless keyboard and mouse. Now, it doesn't have to be a dock. You can get dongles that do the same thing. But obviously, the beauty of the dock is that it gives um, your Steam Deck something to sit on. Um, and what I do with mine is normally this sits next to my monitor, well, one of my monitors, and the HDMI plugs in, so it gives you that um, almost console experience of the, the Steam Deck runs the monitor as well. Um, but I wanted to do it this way just to kind of kind of show you that you can do this because this is definitely the best way to play PC Daisy still is keyboard and mouse. However, if we want to use the controllers on the uh, on the Steam Deck or if we've like Bluetooth and Xbox controller to it, what you can do is if you go here um, and you have these button layouts, and what you can do is you can see probably see in the middle there, browse community layouts for games with their official controller support. And if you click on here and go into community layouts. Um, people have already created controller settings for things like Daisy and Armour. They're of varying quality, um, so you're going to have to try different ones. And basically, you can go into one, and then you can apply that layout. Um, and then when you go into the game, that those commands will be mapped to the controls on your Steam Deck. So how do we get Daisy running simply? Well, the problem is, is that with the launcher that normally launches with Daisy PC, is that it can't handle what it should be, what it has to do with the mods, and so things sort of go a bit squiffy. So the best thing to do is if you go into Manage here on the right hand side, and then you go into Properties, and you scroll down a bit, and you go into um, Launch Options. You just add that line that you can see there. And I'll put a, put this in the description below the video. You put dash, no, with um, in small letters, capital L, launcher. So it's dash, no, launcher. And that means that it won't fire up the launcher, so it doesn't try to load up the mods. So what that then means, and then if you do that for, if you download Daisy Experimental as well, and you go into the settings, 
and go into uh, properties scroll down see we've got no launcher that's what we want dash no launcher remember the capital L and then also remember to go in and set up your the uh, key layouts that you want to do so we can play in so what we do now is in fact tell it let's come back to that it's just going to normal day Z and what you see if we hit play now I I always ask it to ask me whether I want to do this because hopefully at some point we will get official workshop mods support within Steam OS. So it will be just like it is on PC. Um, so I'm just going to say play DayZ. And all it's going to do is fire up DayZ without the launcher in a very similar way to that to the way that um, console DayZ fires up. This is basically how console DayZ fires up if you, if you haven't played console DayZ before. Now remember, just because we're playing non-modded DayZ doesn't mean there aren't servers out there that aren't modded because you can still do modded uh, DayZ servers without using Steam Workshop mods. It's what we do on console all the time. It's what I do. You know, we can have modded um, mission files so there's more loot or less loot. We can have custom buildings and all sorts of amazing stuff that you can do. So all is not lost. However, what this does mean is that if you thought, I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy um, a Steam Deck so that I can play the PC DayZ, I would say have a have a think about it because the problem is that you can't run mods in easily. There is a way of doing it, and I may well do some videos about it showing you how to do it, but out of the box you've got to run without mods. So what we can do is we can go down here and go change server. And it will load up the server. So you can see I've already got some favourites in as well. Um, we can go to official and they will come up. Now sometimes with the official ones, because they take so long to load. Um, in fact, uh, let's re apply reset filters. Let's see why that's doing that. Community official service found. There we go. Sometimes the names don't come up for a while, so it can be difficult to find stuff. But once you've found them, remember to favourite them, and then they'll appear in your favourites here. So, for example, I've got my 1C Scale Speed of Gaming PC PvE server. Now, these are, you've got paid to get onto those servers, but they're boosted loot. Um, so let's choose a, a 1T test server. Let's find something that's... Um, if we go on to... Let's go on to official. DZ... One that's during the day here we go let's just click on this one here so it's official so there'll be no mods we can just hit play all oh, right okay we don't want to be in a queue let's leave that one uh, change server official wait for them to load up very popular isn't it tonight how about this one Daisy EU. Now, sometimes I've had problems with connection, basically because of an unstable connection. Because obviously we're on Wi-Fi with the uh, the Steam Deck, and maybe if you're at work or something like that, you may well be going through the hotspot through your phone. And Daisy can be quite finicky on servers when it comes to having a strong connection. But we, what you should see is that Daisy actually runs very, very nicely indeed. When it comes now, what I'll do is I'll use the keyboard and the mouse to start off with just to kind of run around a little bit. I shouldn't have a character on this server, hopefully, we won't get killed straight away. If you want to know the frames per second, they're up in the top left hand corner. We're running on about medium settings, but the thing is about the Steam Deck, the thing that sometimes people get a bit confused about is that because this screen is so small, the fact that it's only a 1200 by 800, so in fact, an, like an 800p display means that. Um, it actually looks very nice indeed. So it's sunrise, isn't it? Uh, okay, so it's, there we go, third person. And in my opinion, this looks slightly better than... And in fact, sometimes it looks a lot better than um, console Daisy. And, you know, we're getting, what are we getting? 60 odd frames a second. We've going to a... A busy area it's probably going to drop down into you know 60 50 frames a second but it looks very good in fact let's go into options video so you can see so what we got object detail medium terrain detail high texture detail high yeah 1200 by 800 
high, 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 medium, water reflections low. Yeah, all looks fine. And as you know, I'm using my keyboard and I'm using my mouse. And this is very playable. I think you could set this up at work or, you know, um, down in the shed or something like that. Um, away from your gaming PC and you would have a very nice uh, game of uh, Daisy. I haven't had to go at connecting a mic to uh, to get that going. This is all very good. Now, what I can do as well is if I move my keyboard away, move this slightly closer. What I can do now is see I can use my the the touchpad on the right to basically instead of the mouse, and then the the left thumbstick becomes W A S D. And what Y is jump, isn't it? Uh, that all oh, right? That's talking. I think some some of the problems with the um, the 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 uh, control configurations is I think they're mostly done by PC players, and that's not to say you know to to be um, nasty about them, but I think we probably need to get some console people doing some of these uh, um, key bindings so so that they're much more like uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation key bindings on the Xbox controller and the PlayStation controller. If you want to see what the controls are, if you press the Steam button on the left-hand side and then we come across with a D-pad, there we have you know all, all the reference to what the actual controls are. And you could actually go down and you can actually edit the layout and change things around or create indeed create your own uh, particular layout obviously it's getting a bit dark now let's push that away let's bring the keyboard back in like so let's move that around so we can see there we go much more natural and in fact i'm kind of a little bit of the feeling that I'm, i don't really want to be learning new key bindings for Daisy, it take me long enough to learn the you know you know the the keyboard side of things, um, and obviously I know the controller side of things. So I really want if I'm going to be using controller or I'm going to be using the, the the controls on the Steam Deck, I really want to be um, I want them to be, to be the same as Xbox or PlayStation that way. So there you go, looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, it's lovely and smooth, sixty frames a second. Very, very nice indeed. Um, looks great. So just to go over it one more time then, if we just exit out of here. We exit out of there. Once you've purchased Daisy, you know, purchased Livonia and all that sort of stuff as well. And then just make sure that when you go into the, um, the Daisy section, just go into Manage in the Settings, go into Properties, and then scroll down. And then in the launch options, have dash, no, and then with capital L, launcher. Um, and that will make sure um, it doesn't try and fire up the launcher to, to try and download all the... The big problem is it's kind of the gigabytes of mods as well that we often have, isn't it? You know, with all these different maps. And you don't want, you know, 500, 600 megabytes worth of um, mods and the rest actually downloading to your Steam Deck because, you, you know, you're limited. Um, and again, I would highly recommend playing daisy experimental on the steam deck because daisy experimental um it helps the devs out by going on there because you can report problems and, and report bugs um on the uh, uh, bohemian interactive feedback tracker um but also it's really designed around not having any mods on it <laughs> to start off with so there we go my friends that is how you get daisy and daisy experimental working on your steam deck um working with mouse and keyboard, working with the controls, doing custom controls. And as I say, hopefully what we'll see is that over time, things like this where Steam Deck compatibility isn't known, if we go back to DayZ, Game Info, where it says it's unsupported, hopefully we'll get to a point where Steam Workshop mods for DayZ and for Armour 3 as well will be supported so that we can have them um, on our Steam Decks, and um, probably the biggest the biggest problem may be the fact that they're trying to figure out a way where when you sign into Daisy, uh, sign into Steam on your Steam Deck for games like Daisy and Armor Three, where you could potentially have several gigabytes of different mods that you can tell it. Actually, I don't want you to download these mods. The way that I've done it. <laughs> 
is I've also got, I don't know what you have, but you know, I do have an alternative Steam account, which basically on that Steam account, all I have is Daisy and Armour 3. Um, so, and I, they don't have any mods associated with them. So that's another way that, that I could do it. Because if I was to switch my Steam account, um, switch my account, you go Steam, uh, Power, um, and change account, and change to my sort of alt scale speeder account, and then log into that one. If the launcher did come up, it wouldn't try to download any mods anyway, because there's no mods associated with that account. I haven't subscribed to any. Same with Armour. Right, so there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.